How's it going guys? Julian Bradley here from TheMusicalEar.com So in today's video I'm going to respond to a very popular request that I've received which was following my previous video which had some background music which was composed by myself and there were a lot of comments asking what the chords were to that progression So in today's video I'm going to just very quickly explain the chords that I was using in that composition. I'm also going to give you some other ideas of how you can arpeggiate chords and create a similar sort of sound in your own music. So with that said we're going to jump straight to the lesson, enjoy the video and I'll talk to you again on the other side. These are the chords, this is how it sounds. And obviously you can loop it as many times as you need. Now, this is a very simple chord progression, it's just three of what I call the four pop chords, so you might be familiar with this concept that a lot of pop music uses just four chords. I'm demonstrating in the key of A minor here, C major, A minor, it's the same key. There's these four pop chords, C major, A minor, G major, and F major, and a lot of pop music is written from these chords. Now, in my track, just plays G major, A minor, and F major, but I'm voicing them, the very open voicing, a minimal sort of voicing, root and third for G major. A minor looks like this, root, third, and F major is pretty much root and third. Now, I do arpeggiate and create a simple sort of melody in the right hand, just from using mostly chordal tones of these three chords. And notice that this melody is just arpeggiating the chords. So we have a G major chord, so I play B, G, then for A minor, C, E, then for F major, A. To accompany this video I will notate this chord progression and I'll put it into sheet music. There'll be a free download link just below, just click the link, you can print out the sheet music that way. As important as the notes and the chords are to creating the sound, it's equally important to play it the right way. So notice how quietly I'm playing this chord progression. I'm holding down the sustain pedal, changing it with each chord. And notice I've also got some reverb on, which again, is an important factor in creating this sort of sound that I have with this chord progression. Now 
Now you can change these chords, they pretty much sound good in any combination, these four pop chords. This is another one, A minor, G major, F major. actually a lot of variations that I've made and actually I put all of these in the free sheet music in the download so you can click the link below to get all of these variations but if I just play around for a bit you'll see how many combinations and different sounds you can create from the same four chords. I'm just using this very minimal stripped down chord voicing, just root, and then the third of the chord an octave above. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you know someone else who'd also enjoy this video I'd also appreciate if you could share it with them. If this is the first video of mine you've seen make sure you don't miss out on future videos by subscribing to my channel. And as I mentioned at the beginning there's a free download which is the sheet music to this chord progression. If you'd like to sh download the sheet music for free just click on the link below and you can print out the sheet music. So thank you very much for watching, I'm Julian Bradley and I look forward to seeing you again next time.